As soon as the sheriff served a summons on Mr. Vibot, the noise, with rare exceptions, stopped. Wonderful. So did you stop so making noise? So it's deliberate. Just a minute. No, you're Did honest. you? Just a minute. So did you stop making noise? Only when he made noise, I made a noise as a protest. And I want to tell you that Martin Luther King Jr., whom I adore, he's a hero in my pantheon of heroes, he said, injustice must be exposed. We must all protest injustice. And Mahatma Gandhi, another one of my heroes, but not as great as Martin Luther King Jr., my hero, Make injustice visible. All right, Miss Lord, what kind of music do you play? Your Honor, I have a videotape of the music and the siren uh, that which we can show later on. Well, I'd like Go to ahead, see it right it. now. Show it. And, it. and it demonstrates the noise that she's making. All right, let me see the video. It's around 7.15 a.m. It's still uh, June 28th, 1996. It's the same morning, but you can clearly hear the radio and the siren noise, uh, what sounds like a car alarm. How do you sleep with all that noise we, in your we house? We have wondered for years. As soon as you give just me a minute, chance. turn it off. May I tell you? Yeah, yes, I want to, just a second, right. I want to hear I how you offered, sleep with all that noise. I'll tell you exactly. I offered Michelle $100 to buy what is called a white noise machine, which will mask that noise completely. I own one, and it must. I don't hear it. Oh, <laughs> imagine uh, you're paying off. Uh, I play it, Your Honor. Just a second. She wants to play her white noise machine. Would you bring it up, please? Just bring it up, so. It must completely. I don't hear my protest. May I turn it off? This is advertised. Now that was just showing um, the video during the, the day. We also have uh, a, an earlier taping of her at night so that you can... Let me hear the night. Okay. This is what it sounds like at night. You mean the car alarm? The I want to show you. I want to show you that it could, this will mask it. May I turn this on? Sure. Now bring it up to the table so I can hear... You say you are being disturbed by noise that is being purposefully caused by the defendant. Correct. She acknowledges that she is making yes. noise in her house to purposefully annoy all of her neighbors. Yes. And she is saying that until all the neighbors band together to get rid of Mr. Vibot, she is going to continue to make everybody's life miserable. Well, Mrs. Lord, you are a charming lady. Thank you. I have... I think you're charming, too. Thank you. I have not... <laughs> thank you. At the risk of being disrespectful, you can't be a pest to all of your neighbors. They are entitled to the peaceful enjoyment of their home, just right. as you are. Am just I... Just as you... Absolutely. Just as you are. But I'm not hearing the case now against either Mr. Vibot or the city council. I'm hearing the case of these innocent people who have been caused to suffer because you are protesting something that has nothing to do with them. And, Ms. Lord, you have to stop. And if the only way to get you to stop is to start charging you money for this violation, then I am going to start charging you money. But this award of money that I'm making to you today is up until today's date. I have I'm making that my very... No, no. Yeah, now you have, have to be quiet. I my presentation. No, listen to me. Now you have to be quiet. I want you to understand this, that this award that I am making to you today is by way of a warning. It's going to cost her $1,500 if she does it tonight, if you file suit. It'll cost her $1,500 again next week if you file suit. You've got to take your anger out at the right people. The judgment of this court, listen I to me, finished my is presentation. you finished. Because I, I finished. It's $1,500, and you better stop playing that Noise. I protest. Case is over.